Okay, so here we go. Hi, YouTube. It's me, Maddie Makes, and I wanted to do a quick video for you today. I don't know how quick it's going to be, but I'll give you a little background. I have been trying to... Um, I have been trying to do a planner, okay, and I was looking for a year at a glance. However, the problem was I could not find a style that I liked. Um, I did go to some calendar creators. There are some, some websites where you can go and create a calendar, but it would never copy and paste properly to my document. So I decided, and I didn't want to do this because it, it's kind of like a lot of work, but I'm going to do it. I, I want one that looks the way that I want it to look. That's more of my style. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with you. Um, also, this is in Microsoft Word. So everybody usually has access to Microsoft Word. Um, so we're going to do some designing in here. All right. With that said, I did already set my margins. I will show you what those margins are. Um, custom margins. I have Oh, I didn't. Maybe I thought I did. I stayed, but I want these to, I got to change these. 0.5 top, 0.5 bottom, 0.5 right. And then we're going to leave the left at one inch. Click OK. All right. We're going to go to the tab insert. And when we go to the tab insert, we're going to do insert a table. We want um, to have 23 columns and we want 34 rows. Okay, and we click OK. So our little grid looks a little crazy, but it's going to look, it's going to all make sense in a minute. Okay, let me just shrink down a little bit. All right, and I want to move this down a little bit because I want to leave a little room for me to be able to put my header up, up there if that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to start counting. One, I'm going to. I'm going to highlight as I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to click merge sales. I'm going to come back. I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to move over here and count seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to click merge sales. I'm going to skip this, go over here. And those are the last seven. We're all good. And we're going to click merge sales. Now we're going to do some more counting. We're going to go um, start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on this, I'm sorry, seven. And on, on the eighth one, we're going to do the same thing we did at the top and merge these sales. We're going to skip this one, jump over if, and count in seven. And we're going to merge the sales. Skip one and do the same thing for these last seven and merge the sales. Okay, now the next count is a little bit different, okay? So we start here, one, two, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on this tenth one, we go like that, go in seven, and again, merge the sales, skip one, Go seven and merge the sales and skip one and go over here and do the last one and merge the sales. Okay. So we do our count again, starting here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on this one here. We go in seven, we merge the sales. Skip one, go in seven and merge the sales. Skip one, the last seven and merge the sales. Right click, merge sales. Okay, it's starting to look a little bit like some y'all, okay? Now what we want to do is we want to go over here <clears throat> and we're going to highlight this right here. The one we skipped. Right click. Merge the sales. Go back to the home tab. Go to borders. Click bottom border and click top border. Okay. See what it did? It separated our, our columns. We're going to do the same thing over here. 
and we're going to uh, merge the cells. Same thing, bottom border, top border. They've disappeared, okay? So far, so good. Now, we got to do one more thing. We're going to go into these little spaces right here. We merged them, and we got to get rid of those. We got to separate the, the, the calendars, okay? So we go left border, right border, and it's gone. And then we click over here, left border, right border, and we do that left border. Oopsie, must have got the right border, right border. Down here, left border, right border, over here, uh, left border, and the right border. I had already clicked on it. Same thing over here, left border, and then right border. And this is the last two, three, left border, right border, left border, right border, and left border, and right border. Okay, look at that, you guys. We have separated all of our little calendars. Yay. Okay, now we got to go up here. We have to make this look like that. We do that by highlighting and click merge the cells. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead through here and do all of those. Just click them all, highlight them, and purge those cells, y'all. And then we're good on that. All done. All right. So now we have them all. They all look, they look like little calendars, right? They look like little calendars. Um, so now what we have to do is we have to put the uh, names of, uh, well, first I want to try and format. So let's do this first. Let's try, hopefully, this is going to pay out. I want to use the, I'm highlighting all of these. I'm going to use the Candera font, and I'm going to put 11, and we'll see if that took. Now it bounced back to Calibri, but it kept it here for, the, for these. But these it did not keep. Okay? So, well, yeah, it did. My bad. Oh, it's out here that it bounced back to Calibri. Okay, well, we're good. So the other thing I want to do is highlight this again. And I want to go up here and click center. Okay? Okay. You'll understand why. Let's start naming our calendars. So we start off with January. I know January is gone, but I still want it for cohesiveness. I still wanted to say... Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I still wanted to say January. We're just going crazy now. I, I turned off my notifications, but they still come. For some reason, I didn't do something right. March. April. Notice how we in the center? That's how I want it to be. I'm just going through here and I'm typing all the months. In November and then December. So we have all our months in our little calendars. This is a year at a glance, right? Now I'm going to do this because I want this, not the whole thing, but this, the letters to be bold. 
So I'm going to put those in. I'm going to bold it. And here. See how it comes together, y'all? But as you can see, it's a little bit of work, right? Now, this is the... the um, we need to put the days of the week in there. So we're going to start our calendar with Sunday. We're going to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. All right. And then I want to bold that. I'm going to bold it. Control C to copy it. And then... All we have to do is go through here, and we just have to paste it. Control V. What about the whole thing? Uh oh. Now we have all of our days of the week on our calendar. Isn't that groovy? All of our days of the week are on the calendar. Okay, and so then the next thing that we need to do is um, I want to make the sales a little bit bigger, so I'm going to go right here and highlight the whole thing, highlight the whole chart here, and then I'm going to go up here to line spacing. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and put it at 1.5 and make sure that I didn't go off the paper and I didn't. So I'm all good on that. I'm still, I might even try to go back to line space. I wanted to fill up the paper and I don't want to stretch it to fill up the paper. So let's just see if we can go here and do 1.5 and what happens when you do 1.5, it takes it off the paper, but all is not lost because you could just go up here and move, move it up. A little bit. Let me see if that worked. Now as though it's encroaching into my space where I want to type. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to do go back to 1.15 and let that be and have a little space left to to move it down again. Okay, there we go. Now, I could go here and pull it down like that. That could work, and it did. Okay, so we got that all straight. The last thing that you have to do, you guys, is put the numbers of your calendar in. This is the most time-consuming part, in my opinion, okay? Um you would, if you're here, like I'm just on my computer, so I'm just going to show you where I would go. So I would go to down here and click on the calendar. It starts in February. I'd go back up. I'd look at January. January started on a Sunday. The first was a Sunday. So that makes it really easy for us. We could just go in here. I First, I'm going to center because I want my numbers centered. Might as well center all of these. Center. And then January, as we stated, started on the 1st. So you just go one and you keep tabbing over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then put your mouse here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then here, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And so here you have your January setup, okay? It started on a Sunday, ended on a Tuesday. I would do the same thing. One thing I want to point out to keep in mind. So when we come back now, we click down here again, we do February. First of all, February only has 28 days. So you need to be mindful of that. And then double check yourself. So it it starts on a Wednesday, 
and it ends on a Tuesday. Okay, just keep that it somewhere in the back of your mind. And then you go in there and you do the same thing, just like we did before. And we keep going. So we get to the 28. And it's just like we start, said before, it started on a Wednesday, ended on a Tuesday. So we know that we're, we're doing good, right? And then you could just go throughout the calendar and add all of the things that you want, all of the dates, okay? You just keep going back and forth to your calendar and you just fill them all in, okay? And then um, what I am going to do is go ahead and come up here and I need to, I would, I would add, this is... Um, uh, year in a glance, I'm calling it. I would highlight this then and pick the font that I want here and make it as large as I want it to be. I would also put 2023, comma, 2023. This is just inspiration. You don't have to do it this way, y'all. Do it the way you want to. The other thing you could do, and I'm, I'm going to show you the finished product in a minute because I did one already for you, but you, I just want to show you a few other things that you can do with this. If you want to come here, you could do a fill, um, fill this with some color right here, right? So go up here to fill. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not fill. Where's fill? Fill that. Here is fill. And you could put yellow in there if you want it, Okay. That's just an example, some inspiration. I don't want any color. I, I want black and white because I don't want to do all my print in color because that's a lot of ink. But if you wanted to, you could. OK, I'm just putting it out there. All right. Um, anyway, that's that. That's it, you guys. If you wanted a year at a glance calendar, that is how you would do it. OK, now I already made one. So I'm going to show you what the final document looks like. This is my final document right here. This is my year at a glance 2023 calendar and I'm keeping mine black and white and I have filled in all the dates in here. All right. So there we have it, you guys. Um, if you like the video, found something useful here, please take the time to give it a thumbs up. It helps me, you guys know, in the algorithm of the world of YouTube. OK, if you like what you see, consider subscribing. Otherwise, until next time, my friends.